Hi everyone. In the last sessions, we have seen uh, what push and pop operations on stack when it is implemented by using what RS concept. Now in this session, we'll be discussing uh, what traversing operation or display operation on stack when it is implemented by using what RS concept, right? So these are the steps that we need to follow in order to uh, what uh, uh, traverse a stack or in order to perform display operation on stack. And the first step is what checking whether the stack is empty or not. And after that, we need to check uh, what if, if, if it is empty, then we need to print stack is empty or underflow. If it is not empty, then what we can conclude is there are some elements in the stack. So we need to print those elements starting from topmost element to what bottom element. And how we are going to do all these things, let's see step by step. And the first step is what checking whether stack is empty or not. And how to check it. So when you are going to define uh, what uh, a macro and we are taking the macro value as what phi and we are declaring one array based on that macro and we are initializing uh, what a top variable with respect to what one. When you call this display function and if your top value still minus one means then what we can say is we can print some message that stack is empty. Stack is empty. If this condition is false then what we can conclude there are some elements in the stack. Just try to observe this logic of display function. If top equal to minus one means uh, we are printing some message stack is empty. If this condition is false, if this condition is false, it goes with what else part. In else part, what we are doing is we are using one for loop and with the help of that for loop, we are going to print the elements starting from topmost element to what bottom element. And how we are going to print those elements, all these things we'll be discussing. Let us assume that this was a stack data structure, which consists of what are five elements, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And uh, what we are going to perform display operation. And the top value is what four, which is pointing to what uh, topmost element. Now we'll be executing this logic and how it is going to be happened. See, I'm going to check the condition top equal to minus one means condition is false. If condition is false means it doesn't execute this part. It goes with what uh, else part. Right. In else part, it executes this for loop. And what is there in this for loop? What is there in this for loop? And how it is going to be executed? That we'll be discussing clearly. Just have a look on this for loop. So for i is equal to assigned with top. After that, i greater than or equal to zero because we need to start from topmost to what bottom element of the stack. That's the reason we are taking i is equal to top and i greater than or equal to zero. After that, i minus minus. And inside that, we'll be taking one uh, statement printer percentile d st of i. You can observe here that we are taken i is assigned with what top means what's the value of top four and that four has been assigned to what i and after that we'll be going with the condition i greater than or equal to zero i greater than or equal to zero means four greater than or equal to zero four greater than or equal to zero means condition is true true means enters into the for loop inside this for loop we have print statement printf st of i that is st of four st of four means what st of four means 50 will be printed after printing this 50 after executing this it goes with what increment and decrement in increment and decrement i minus minus means 4 minus minus and that is what uh, post increment you already know 4 minus minus means from next expression onwards it becomes what a uh, 3 that means now the next uh, iteration second iteration uh, we already printed 50 now we are entering into the second iteration when we entering into the second iteration the value of i becomes 3 and 3 greater than or equal to 0 means condition is true and we are going to print st of 3 means st of 3 what we have here 40 we have and we are going to print 40 on the screen uh, after that i minus minus means 3 minus minus next expression the value of i is going to become 2 okay now uh, i greater than or equal to 0 means 2 greater than or equal to 0 condition is true print st of 2 means second element we are going to print after that i minus minus 2 minus minus 2 minus minus means the next expression onwards it becomes 1 1 greater than or equal to 0 condition is 2 print st of 1 st of 1 means what 20 will be printed after that 1 minus minus it becomes what mark it becomes what 0 0 greater than or equal to 0 means true print st of 0 st of 0 means 10 will be printed after that i minus minus 0 minus minus it becomes what minus 1 and uh, minus 1 greater than or equal to 0 means false it comes out of the and this is how we are going to print the elements starting from top to what uh, bottom element of the stack, right? So this is how we are going to perform push, pop, and uh, traversing operation 
on stack data structure and with the help of what are arrays concept what we have in our programming languages now we have mainly two problems here that uh, if we implement stack by using arrays uh, what we are in a position to store limited elements limited elements uh, sometimes if you take the max value as 100 means in that case memory wastage problem occurs so in order to resolve this problem what we'll be doing is with the same constraints like insertion deletion can be done from only one end and that end is what top of the stack with the same uh, what uh, a principle we are implementing the stack data structure with the help of linked list concept what we already learned in case of uh, what uh, single linked list and double linked list that is in your uh, linear data structure okay so we'll be discussing that clearly right i hope everyone understood this thank you